here, walking around the uh, south side of um, Ripon. Uh, Ripon Cathedral used to be known as the Cathedral City of the Dales because it was um, the head of the diocese of Ripon and Leeds which covered much of the places between those two uh, cities. Ripon, reasonably small, very quaint, quite old. Leeds, modern, brash, huge and generally horrible. Um, and of course this is one of those unfortunate cathedrals that have lost its head so to speak with the merging of the diocese around these parts to create a super diocese headed by a diocesan bishop in Leeds Minster effectively making that a pro-cathedral and this now a co-cathedral very sad indeed very sad um, so now this whilst this does have a seat for that diocesan bishop it's not his main seat uh, and really it's the place where one of his suffragan bishops which should only have a seat really in the main cathedral but obviously has a seat here um, uh, the suffragan of Ripon I assume uh, which was of course the suffragan of Knaresborough when Ripon had its own sort of uh, diocese the cathedral is dedicated to St Peter and St Wilfred St Wilfred um, interestingly in the late 600s AD when this place was being sort of reconquested if you like by the Romans uh, after well during the Dark Ages um, St Wilfred founded a crypt here and it is I think the oldest crypt in the country. It has to be very close to being one of the oldest crypts in the country. It's quite small and uh, history has it that it's, it's supposedly modelled on the tomb in which Christ was laid between uh, crucifixion and resurrection. As I say it's quite small and it's sort of buried underneath um, the cathedral as you might imagine. Um, the cathedral is also interesting in that it does have objects which are uh, ecclesiastical and they are obviously very very old indeed. There's a font at the west end which looks prehistoric. There is a, uh, a pulpit, a stone pulpit, I kid you not, actually growing out of the ground uh, at the crossing. They have a, uh, a crossing altar which they've moved slightly further forward. That's a picture of the west end there. Um, so it's actually at the head of the nave rather than in the crossing. Now, interestingly, this building, you may be able to tell from the outside and all the sort of buttresses up there, it doesn't have a, uh, a triforium as such. There's not much in the nave above this level at all. Um, uh, well, basically, it doesn't seem to have a triforium um, of any description. On the uh, on the north side, the um, transepts are converted into um, a set of chapels. There's the usual military chapel to the order I forget uh, at the uh, the west end. Uh, on the south side, which is literally sort of just behind this sort of pillar here, they have uh, a grand staircase. These look awfully like coffins to me. Very, very old coffins. Goodness knows where the bodies inside them have gone. Um, it, it has a very grand staircase, wooden staircase, which leads up to a sort of... Uh, would be the Triforium I suppose um, where they house their library and treasury they don't charge to enter they ask for a donation but they have interestingly put that it costs £3,070 to run this building per day they do charge a £3 um, 
uh, photography license which I haven't taken up because I don't like taking pictures inside churches I believe people who want to visit should come and see for themselves uh, they do charge uh, a pound entrance to places like the crypt a pound entrance to places like the library and the, their treasury uh, and fair enough fair enough um, so I'm just having a wander around now For some reason, uh, I have never seen uh, the North uh, Choir Isle, which sort of forms, or should form, part of the ambulatory, which runs around the east end here. The choir's in the middle. Their choir is, uh, does have a beautiful choir screen, fully intact. Uh, not quite sure where that one goes down there. Um, <laughs> but anyway. Uh, they've never had their north aisle open and I'm not even sure uh, whether you can actually get um, whether the, the ambulator actually goes all the way round or whether it just stops at the end of each aisle this here would appear to show that it stops stops there but then there's the, the choir that extends all the way down here a beautiful uh, I can't remember if it's a rear dos. I think it's a rear dos in there. Um, they have obviously their little chapels, and you can see where this building is so old. It's sort of been built in different stages. It's been added to that up there is um, as close as they get to a triforium. Really, this little bit round here, that's where their library is. Don't know what they have on the north side. Um, actually, we're going to go and have a look. <laughs> this here is their graveyard. And it must be old. I think it's so old that a lot of the gravestones have vanished. I suspect there's loads of bodies beneath here. And the gravestones have simply gone. That's their east end then, up there. I mean, it's small. Ripon is small, um, as cathedrals go, but it's a really old one, and it's such a beautifully sort of well-preserved one that it didn't deserve to be demoted or robbed of any of its historical. Yeah, that's. See, that looks like looks like to me that was one side with a little turret and this one has been sort of added to but it's difficult to say you'd have to be one of the badge guides I would have thought to know <coughs> the interesting thing is I live I've always lived quite close to Ripon and it's never been a place that I've visited very often it doesn't really have much in there's a market which isn't always there, a river which isn't that pleasant, a park which I've yet to find. Um, just look at the views though. <coughs> if we go round here, we'll have our answer. No, you see, this just ends in the choir and then there's nothing until the transept. This hole side of the cathedral here. Complete mystery. Complete mystery. They do not open the aisle right behind here at all. Anyway, so in my little excursion to Ripon, I've looked at a marketplace, but it, the market wasn't there today. So now I'm going to head down towards the river which is in that direction hopefully get some lunch see if I can't find the park Ripon Spa Park it's called I think it's their version of Valley Gardens which is supposed to be on the opposite side of the market which is there sort of thing, to here so it should be over the other side um, and then I must head back uh, the temperature is dropping they say there's going to be snow, I still don't believe that, but uh, 
the temperature is dropping. My hands are dropping off. So this has been uh, my little visit to uh, Ripon.